What's up, you guys? It's Paul Maxi with another video game review. Uh, kind of obscure title named Wild Western. That's the attract sc uh, screen. And um, it's made by the same people, Tato, who made Frontline. Watch, when you put in a credit, you can recognize the sound. You know, just like, um, just like Frontline. And then when you get an opening song. And not only that, I like this game. And I looked it up online and... And sure enough, it was an old arcade game, and it, that's what it looks like. And if you look closer, sure enough, this is a game where you run with one controller and you shoot with the other. And thankfully, the PS2 controller, you can run with this, and you can move the direction of your gun with this, kind of like a dual stick, like Robotron, and fire your gun with this, your pistol. And in the arcade, they did this by... Just like Frontline, I can see that they use the, probably the same hardware and just two different programs, the Western theme and the War theme, where you run with that stick, but you had your right hand on this dial twisting thing. But not only did you twist it to to direct the, the shots of your pistol, you push it down to fire. It's the only way back then you could, or one of the only ways you could get to move your direction with one hand and fire with the other, but not have to be stuck firing in the direction you're running like Commando. So that's a very clever um, control scheme. This other button is the action button, which is used um, for some things. They say if the bandits get on the train, you hit that button, and then you're transformed to being on the train and um, shooting these bandits. But it's a hard game, and you won't last long. And it'll be hard for you to see this. The... But this is a train that the bandits are trying to get on. And that's you here on this horse. I know it's hard to see. And I'm firing shots with my pistol. I just got a guy. The horse keeps the horse keeps running after you shoot a guy. But you, you kill him there if you shoot him off your horse. I just got another. And you got to watch out for obstacles on the ground. You cannot walk over that cactus or that brown rock. I just got shot. It's hard. Ah, I got shot again. And it says to hit the action button, which is L2, if a bandit gets on the train, then you switch to another mode. Okay, I beat the screen. You get a thousand points for that, but they give you one shot at shooting this thing that your horse throws in the air. I got it! And by getting it, you get two thousand points, but that's the end of the bonus round. There's just no more. So you can double your bonus round. Screen changes color, like in front line, and there's gonna be more enemies you have to shoot. I'm on my last guy. Look how it looks just like front line at the bottom with the numbers. This is definitely whoever made this game. Either it's the same guys who made it front line, or they had the same hardware at their facility. However, you make video games, and I find that interesting. And I just love games where you can move with one stick with your PS2 controller. Oh, too bad I went over the. I just lost. They sometimes make you watch a little bit more. But I've, I fell off my horse. Train goes off. And it's game over. I'll try one more time. Put in a credit. Hit start. But as I was saying, I love games where you shoot, run with one controller, and shoot with the other. Like Smash TV. Uh, yeah, Smash TV. Robotron. Oh. Black Widow was another one from Atari. And... This is on Tato Legends 2 for PS2. And. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, no, I beat it. So sometimes it's worth buying these games for PS2 because the. Got it. Because the dual stick controller and the buttons here, that works for some games that you. that you can't emulate, like if you buy Pandora's Box or even MAME. Sometimes the PS2 controller is just what the doctor ordered to play these games satisfactorily, if I may sound intelligent. I know you can't see much, but I'm having fun. I'm the guy on the bottom on his horse. Oh, I tripped over a cactus. And these cactuses look like they're dead cactuses laying on the ground. Damn it. I'll try one more time. It's hard. But hard doesn't make it suck. Hard makes it addicting if it's a good game. And uh, it's a primitive game, and I don't care. I like a game if it's good, and if it's intriguing. 
I just died. Well, as you go farther, you go across bridges and you see some water and storefronts. So the, the, the background gets more interesting, which must have been pretty cool back in the day. And like I said, the directions say when a bandit catches up and gets on the train, you gotta hit the action button and it switches you to like a different shot of you on the train. Look at that, the music changed. And I'm running down this narrow... Alright, I beat that. So your horse kind of throws something up in the air and you... I missed it. I do like this game, it's addicting and I can't... I never found it anywhere else. You find some hidden gems on these compilation discs. My game's almost over, but it looks like I earned an extra man. If you earn an extra man for being the level, that's money. Because this game is so hard, I'm shooting over right diagonally. Ah, the shots come in hard and fast. Really test your coordination. Ah, game over. Well, hopefully, I like the title screen while Western. It's hard, but I want to do better. I want to beat it. And this whole thing where the bandits get on the train and you hit the action button, which is your L2, and then you... They probably, I, I think it takes you to a whole other image. So you're like sh shooting the the, uh, the bandit who got on the train. Too bad I didn't de demonstrate that for you. But anyway, just another obscure arcade game in tonight, in Paul's video games and more. All right, have a good night. Oh yeah, it's on Tato Legends 2 for PS2. Talk to you later.